Assignment eleven actually is based on your lab exercise eleven, but I want you to add some more information in the constructor and the destructor function. So this one actually is we can verify it. We talk about the constructor and the destructor code in the inheritance relationship chain. So this one, please, in your CD account, please add a static variable number of object and the static function get number of object in the constructor and destructor function in your CD account. That's very similar like you had that before in the account class. The reason is we want to print out the CD account ID and so far how many objects being created. And also from the output, you can see account constructor and the destructor also will be invoked and display the information. So here you see your inheritance relationship still the same but we add the number of objects. So this why it will be came from your account class also need to have that static information. So your driver program actually still the same as your lab exercise 11, nothing change. You still create five CD account. You still display this five CD account information. However, since you have those constructor and the destructor function display the information. Addition to your sample output for the CD account information. So before that, you will see here we have either account class or CD account being created. So that's why here you will see this one is earlier we told you in the lecture, right? Every trial class object create, actually parent class object will be create first. Then you see your trial class being create. So that's why in your constructor code, even the trial class constructor being invoked first. But inside there, they call the base class constructor function. So after the base class constructor function finish, they return back to the trial class constructor function. So then trial class constructor finish. So this one is we call the destructor codes in the inheritance relationship. So after we display all the CD account information, then after we finish, before the program finish, right, so that's why your destructor will be coded. So then you will see here, they will follow the reverse order for the destructor. So actually trial class object being destroyed first, then parent class constructor. So that's we will prove our destructor code will be the reverse order complete compared to the constructor function. So that's your assignment 11.